a true man of God will want you to depend on God and not on him. But greedful men will want you to depend on them and not on God because they want to keep on milking you money. The moment you're depending on them, Pastor, what did God say about me? Pastor, what did God say about this? It is because they close your eyes so that you don't see the truth. And all that they do is you come to them and you pay some consultation fee. Have you seen those people who are being told, come and pay something so that I can tell you, so that I can pray for you. If you pay like um, uh, 1,000 shillings, the pastor will pray for you. If you pay 5,000 shillings, he will uh, lay hands on you. If you pay 10,000 shillings, he's going to anoint you. <laughs> you pay 20,000 shillings, he's going to fast for you. <laughs> Yeah? And when you pay 100,000, he is going to prophesy and see visions for you. Those are <laughs> a bunch of liars. And you believe them? You believe them? These are thugs, you know, real bandits. And uh, people do not see this truth because they don't want to hear the truth. And when you tell them, they will come on the comment section and say, Oh, don't touch my anointed man. Don't touch my papa. Don't touch my man. Only that they don't know the truth, that they are being deceived. And these are hooligans, thieves wearing some, you know, they're just supposed to be on, in prison. And that is what is happening all of Africa, all of the world, everywhere. You saw most of them, they come here and they charge you exorbitant fees so that you can just get hold of their hands. Look at these thug, thugs. And, they're, and they keep on selling you all sorts of things. Come and buy my handkerchief. Come and buy my oil, anointed oil. Come and buy my water. Come and buy uh, uh, this and that. You know, they're selling all sorts of things in their churches. Those are bunches of thieves. There is no anything that you need to buy to get access to God. Because the Bible says freely given and freely you should give. And if somebody sells you things of God, then that's a thief. When will, my, when will people wake up? When will people get to understand this truth? When will people stop being deceived? I look at them and I just say, Oh God, please, help these people. Because they're always arguing and try. they can die with that pastor of theirs. Trying to say how oh, this guy is good. And, and look, most of these prophets who are false prophets, who are always lying to people, they, they love so much to get hold of people's emotions. The, through fear and deception oh don't touch me somebody said this about me and he died this person did this and this and this happened to him you see I'm the anointed one of God and even when you see people come into their churches to give testimonies the testimonies are always about them oh the moment we started coming to this church is when my life changed and the moment I came to this church and I met this pastor uh, my life I started driving cars I said it's always about prosperity. Prosperity gospel is straight from the pit of hell. And my friends, if you ever understand this truth, please get away from this. And the moment you start reasoning, the moment you start using your mind for the first time, oh, it's going to be a very hard time. But that is the moment you've started living. Get out from all these false churches, all these hooligans wearing white clothes, with the, the, their pulpits, which have uh, this, it's called what? A red carpet. And that red carpet is specifically to steal all your souls. That's where you lost your mind. That's where you lost your mind. That red carpet is a ritual carpet. That's why it is with all presidential, you know, red carpet, red carpet office, red carpet churches. <laughs> My friend, I wish you just know how spiritual life is. Just go and read about those red carpets and what they mean. And the red tie, which is always worn by the president, you think is a symbol of what? Power and sacrifices and many other things. So don't just go there, fall, fall down in those carpets of theirs. And that handkerchief that they always hold, you know, that handkerchief, they call it a mantle because that is where the power has been put in from the demonic worlds so that when they touch you, you fall, you feel some electric shock. But it's just demons. <laughs> yeah? It's just demons, literally demons. These people are not what they tell you they are. They are, they are, they are thieves, corrupt people. They are, they are people who should be jailed, people who should be held responsible for what they do. And they have manifested everywhere like worms. They are everywhere in every town and every district. They are there. They are just like worms, like flies. They are everywhere. 
Mm? And when you see pastors flossing with big cars and big uh, uh, mobile phones and people uh, bowing unto them when they get into churches, those are hooligans. Hooligans, bandits. Okay, there is no difference between that and El Chapo and, uh, uh, and uh, Pablo Escobar. There is no difference. They are just dealers. Okay, so do not be afraid of them. And even the Bible says, if those prophets, they prophesy and what they are prophesying does not happen. Do not be afraid of them. Do not even fear them. <laughs> eh? Stop fearing these people because they say this and they say, it's all gimmicks. And most of those things that they show you, um, what are they called? Those things that they show you, oh, this person uh, received this uh, miracle or received that miracle. Most of them, just go and ask them. Just follow up with one person who received that miracle and find if it is true. They're all paid actors, paid actors and actresses. I'm not saying that God cannot heal. Yes, God can heal. But can he heal from these hooligans? No, because you shall know them by their fruits. And if their fruits are full of pride, envy, murders, all sorts of, uh, you know, they, they're picking prostitutes on the streets. These people, these people these people and they have infested everywhere oh my friend unless you understand this you'll never know the truth you'll never know stop buying those things stop buying those oils stop buying those water okay most of these waters are the ones which uh, are used to uh, after washing dead people and that is the kind of water that they sell to you ritualists 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 pure ritualist and that oil that you call anointing oil oh I've put the anointing. God is now in this bottle. Do you think you can put God in a bottle? Do you think God, everlasting God, who created heaven and earth, now today he's being sold in a bottle? How much do these people reduce God? That you can now enclose him in a bottle. You're just carrying demons. You're just carrying wandering spirits so that when you spray them in your houses, your house is monitored 24-7. No wonder you cannot sleep. No wonder problems cannot never end from your house. Because you put a lot of hope in this. And the Bible says, Whosoever shall put his trust in, in man is cast. Put your trust in God. Stop having mediators. Mediators. This is my mediator. Pastor, my mediator. Tell me what does God say. That is the reason you are forever in your problems. And your problems will never end. Poverty will never leave your house. Because of what? You have put another mediator. He is an idol. Anything that you put before God. You and God, anything you put in here, if it's not Jesus Christ, is an idol. So people are worshipping idols. And that is the reason why God is angry. They brought Benihim here to come and pray for Kenya. Look, after you went, accidents, floods, people, you know, misery. And the next day he's there confessing and saying, oh, sorry, I'm a false prophet. And people cannot believe. People will just say, oh, no. And he's confessing the third time that he's a false prophet. And yet people cannot see. Now they brought another one called Paul Eneche in Kenya. And he's a false prophet, ritualist. People cannot see. People cannot see. Wait, what is wrong with people? 